Hi, welcome to my channel. In the last video, I turned on these relays on this relay module and uh, try to explain how these relays work. But I thought it'd be interesting to go ahead and see if I could take the uh, enclosure off of this and take a look on the inside of what a relay looks like. These are actually the exact same, I believe, relays and I bought these off of eBay. Pretty inexpensive, so I don't mind destroying one in the process. But uh, here's the relay here. And I thought I'd take a Dremel tool and see if I can just cut through this plastic enclosure here to expose the relay mechanism or the mechanics of this relay on the inside. So here's the Dremel tool. I thought I'd take this and see if I can go along here. I might want to do this outside. I think it's going to be a mess if I do it on the bench here. But I figure maybe right along this line Okay, so let's take a look on the inside here. You can see how I cut that. Went a little low on this side at first. So take this off. There's the inside of a relay. Let's see if I can get a little bit closer here. There we go. And you can see all these coils of wire here. When current runs through there, it magnetizes and uh, it pulls this contact down. You can see here, I don't know if I can get closer. This side here is normally closed. And then when it's magnetized, it pulls that center down, that center contact, brings it down to this side. So this is the normally closed, and this side is the normally open. These pins are just barely long enough to get into the breadboard and the side here that has three, this is offset. So from the other two, so I think it would be difficult to get that in, but I'm going to put these pins, I'm going to solder these pins on here. I broke, broke these off. I had some extras sitting around. So I just want to tin this a little bit. I already tinned the other pins on the relay.
That's good enough. Let me do the rest of the pins down. That should be able to fit into the breadboard nicely. All right, so I wired up a simple circuit here to exercise this relay. I've got two LEDs hooked up to the uh, normally open and the normally closed side of the relay. So I've got five volts going to this uh, center pin here. Through a 220 ohm resistor, I've got a momentary switch. And this is normally closed side of the relay, so this LED is on and when I when I apply 5 volts I activate the relay and move the contact so that the normally open is now closed and the blue LED will then go on and the red LED on the left here will go out. So let's move this aside for a second. I've uh, put together a little illustration, hopefully get a clearer idea of how this operates. So here's, here's the, um, the center piece of metal that becomes magnetized when we run current through this copper wire that's wrapped around it. So on this pin here, I just have five volts, plus five volts, I measured this coil between this pin and this pin, it's about 70 ohms, and I just ran this to ground. And we have about 70 milliamps that run through this. So uh, on this side here, on this pin, I have a 220 ohm resistor to 5 volts. Also, this is where we have that momentary switch. SW. So when I close this, I complete that circuit and apply the 5 volts. But so this center pin here, this goes up to this metal contact that's normally connected to this top connector. And when this bar becomes magnetized, the magnetism forces this bar to this side so it then is contacted here so we can switch between this contact and this contact and on this side here I just have uh, an LED to ground and that's the red one And on this side here, I've got an LED, the blue LED, to ground. And this is the blue. So we just move this contact from here to there when this is activated. It's normally hooked up to this contact here. And that's basically how a relay works. And this 220 is just a current limiting resistor for the two LEDs. So let's see if we can take a closer look here. You can hear the relay. And you can see the contacts. See the contact being activated? It's normally at the top, which gives you one pin of the relay to the red LED. And when you activate current going through that coil, the magnetism draws that contact down to the bottom and completes the other side of the circuit so you can, so that lights the blue LED. So here I'm measuring the current, and in the normally closed position, the red LED is drawing about 14 milliamps at 5 volts, 
And of course, when you activate the relay, it takes a lot more energy and a lot more current to turn that bar of metal into a magnet. And so we're, we're drawing about 78.5 milliamps to activate and close the normally open side of the relay. So that shows the basic operation of a relay. I hope you found this video interesting. Feel free to subscribe, like, and or comment. And thanks for watching.